Hey everyone, hope everyone's having a great weekend. Um, today is Saturday, May 10, 2014. It's about 12.46 in the afternoon here in Arizona. Um, I just posted up a new update here on the globalcurrencyresa.net site. So there it is right there. Um, I've kind of been messing around putting some images here in the, uh, in the articles. There's one with the elite. There's uh, Mr. David Rockefeller right there. And then there's the questions link. For anybody who's watching this video who's new to the site, you will just click the tabs here, and then you'll be able to submit your questions on the site. Just basically scroll down when it opens up the new window, and you can see all the people have replied right here. Just scroll to the bottom, and then you can leave a comment. And there's these little things to make sure it's not robots. Like it says red is what, and so obviously you would say a color, and you would type in uh, this is what I think, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, back to the home page, make sure if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter, you have you subscribe right there. There's a link here. There's also a link here um, when you're scrolling. Unfortunately, I'm logged in now, so if I open this up in a private window, you will see how the login menu will change. There it is. Like I said, when I'm logged in, it, it shows me here. But if I use a private window, then there's the login page for the uh, newsletter so there it is just sign up you'll get an email confirmation check your spam folder because for some reason or another people um, have been opening all the uh, con confirmation links because I've been checking and it, and it just says that people have subscribed but they haven't clicked the confirmation button so make sure you check your spam folder to make sure you uh, you subscribed because there will be a confirmation link to click okay so this is the most recent update I did um, it goes over quite a bit of information. I had you guys submitting your questions. Um, some of you were concerned about the Ukraine and how that might be affecting the global currency reset. So what I did was I did a little research into Ukraine, and I mentioned here to check the CIA fact book. So this is the CIA fact book. Uh, you can see my link up here. We're looking at Ukraine. I used to do this when I was in the military. We were able to just look at different different sites and get information about different countries we were at so you look at economy Ukraine and I don't know anyone who's talking about this um, and, and how it might affect the reset but just look at what it says here for a moment so you see the Ukraine was responsible for one-fourth that's 25 percent of Soviet agricultural output and this is for the so former Soviet Union now essentially what what happened was um, they're, they're still feeding they're still feeding the Soviet Union, which is now Russia, of course. But what I like to tell people is the similarities between the Ukraine and California and Florida. So I got a little thing here about that, about how um, California and Florida are very important. Anybody who lives in California and Florida, you already know that your states produce quite a bit of fruit, uh, food in California and citrus in Florida. But if you don't live in those states, let's say you live in Texas or you live in Michigan or you live in Wyoming, some states like that, you'll you know you'll notice that you can go to your local stores. Not all of your food is local. Yeah, if you go to like a Whole Foods market in Arizona, we're getting a lot of our food from California, Florida, Mexico. So that's on that front. Um, the other thing I had mentioned up here was that there was a PDF to a free book. Um, some of you, ha like I said, I'm going over some old information because some people are new. Here are the links that I posted, uh, the big reset book. You're going to click this. And don't worry, I'm getting to some good stuff. Okay, so th there's a link here for the free PDF. There it is right there. So you're going to click that, open it, and then you'll see that I have the PDF for that new book, the big reset. Okay, and then there's a whole bunch of other books that I own that I recommend you take a look at. And when you click this, it'll actually take you to the Amazon page. Um, for some people who are not familiar yet, there's, there's little links inside of the PDF for you to click on. So right now it should be opening that up into a new window. Um, here it is, The Big Reset. It's a pretty popular book. Yeah, see, it says you purchased it. That's proof that I actually bought the book, yeah. And it's a real popular book. In fact, this is kind of interesting, too. When you type in the Big Reset, um, the Big Reset blog, that's the guy who wrote this book. 
when you click it, it's very interesting, but he actually posted um, right on the top, March 24th, he actually posted the link to my website because some of you know, you're always hearing about the global currency reset, but you haven't seen the video. So if you just type in, type in global currency reset and then click videos. And you can see that there's, there's one of the videos that I posted and then there's the YouTube page. And the biggest video, the one that's gotten the most traffic is this one right here called Christine Lagarde Reset. And this is how you'll know you're at the right video. It'll be 19 minutes, 43 seconds. But here's another thing I thought was shocking. Um, if you type in, if you, just, if you type in Christine Lagarde's name, okay, here we are on Christine Lagarde, and you click videos, it actually brings up my video as number one. So I thought that was kind of interesting that when you search for somebody's name and you click videos, that my video is up there as number one. So I thought that was interesting. Okay. So we already went over the CIA fact book just a second ago about how how much it's very important for, for Ukraine to be producing a lot of food, mainly for Russia. And the reset, as most people know, the global reset is based on the economics of each country, basically what they're producing, industrial output, agricultural output, um, GDP. So if you look at this, the Ukraine is producing a lot of food. They have a lot of uh, soil. It's, it's basically one of those countries similar to Vietnam in that they're producing food for um, other countries. Okay, now back to this. The article here, and you guys are waiting for my newsletter. I will be producing a newsletter very soon, but um, I just wanted to just get a news update to everybody. And here, essentially what I'm talking about is this. I'm, I have not been listening to the dinar calls. I know some of you guys do. That's great. I guess. I mean, it's, honestly, I think it's a waste of an hour or two hours, whatever they are. I haven't listened to down um, any of these calls in at least a month, month or two. I mean, I'll, I heard, I heard snippets of some because, you know, people will say, hey, listen to this section, but I'm not going to listen to a whole call mainly because they're not really producing any real information. Now, this is what I do on my site, and you've probably realized that I don't know anyone else who is doing this. I actually produce real videos. I don't just say the rates are on the screen or the call centers are manned or people are cashing out because if I were to do that, it would discredit me because I have no proof that people are cashing out. I have no proof that uh, the rates are on the screen. Now, I've talked to people at Wells Fargo and um, essentially what I heard from, from somebody was that they're not exchanging the Iraqi dinar now, but they will soon. So that's the news that I heard on that front. Okay, and you can just go to your Wells Fargo, and you can just ask them for that book. If you remember, I did a book. Uh, sorry, I did a re review of this book here for people who are not familiar with currencies. So search for this video: um, Iraqi Dinar Revaluation, MRI Banker's Guide to Foreign Currency. And what I did was I actually put um, I actually put the book on the screen so people can can see how it actually works. Uh, you can see that there's they're still using the same. Let me pause that for a sec. Yeah, they're still they're still using the same notes over over in that country. Okay, I don't know why it's acting weird, so I'll just exit out of that. that I think that happens when I'm logged in. I have to log out. Okay, um, so that's the YouTube link right there, so you guys can check out the videos. And I was mentioning about the fake CNN news videos, and you guys probably don't know about that. So at the very bottom of this article, you're going to see from Saudi Arabia one of the fake um, videos that they actually did. This was done by CNN. Let me mute that because that's kind of annoying. Okay, now you don't have to hear it. But essentially, they're just they're just messing around. They're pretending like there's there's real problems in Saudi Arabia and there's nothing. So this is a real famous video that was done. So you guys can check that out at the bottom of the the, uh, the article here. Okay, what else? Iraq had their elections, and I and I said nothing's going to change there. So this video still playing? Okay, never mind. Okay, sorry, I'm just kind of doing this real quick before I rush off to work. So we went over. A lot of things um, in the last few videos that I've done. So if you haven't check, checked out the YouTube page, um, 
all you really have to do is click global currency reset and just search for it and the YouTube should come up first and then you can see all these different videos that I've done I did one about the Zimbabwe note because some of you were invested in that do not worry about Zimbabwe it's it's not gonna revalue nothing's gonna happen with the Zimbabwe note um, some of you were concerned about the Vietnamese dong nothing's gonna happen there uh, this is just a video about uh, TNT Tony talking about how he works for uh, Sterling, which is one of the dinar dealers. Um, there's a video of President Obama talking about the global reset. It's not a real video. It's 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 a, vo a voice impersonator, but I think he does a pretty good job, so I thought you'd enjoy that. Um, and then there's the Christine Lagarde video. If you guys are new and you haven't seen any of this work, please watch this video because it's very important. Uh, anyone who said that there's not proof of a reset, you need to see this video. This video has been posted on hundreds of sites. I've, I've, I've found this video all over the Internet. So it's really popular. It's been seen um, 45,000 times in only a month's time. So it's definitely one of the more popular videos compared to the other ones are only getting like 14,000 or 19,000 views. So there's a reason why this video is popular. People are sharing it. They, they see real information on there, and they want to they wanna forward it to their friends and get their opinions. Okay. So once again, when you're on the home page, you're just going to click uh, click the title bar up here, and it's going to open it up into a new uh, into a new page. And you guys can copy this if you want. If you want to copy this article, just start here, and just and just copy the whole thing. It's not going to copy the ads, so don't worry about any of these ads here. Okay. Um, all right. What else should I go over? Well, the main thing that I was talking about in this video is about the revaluation and about how when I was living in Japan I saw the exchange rates change um, they fluctuated quite a bit between 105 and 130 yen that's that's a huge fluctuation um, if any of you have trouble calculating like me you can just do this calculate oh there it is right there I already had typed it out yeah, calculate percent calculate percent increase okay I'm just doing this because a lot of folks like me are not good at math. So here's what you do. You just type in 105 and then 130. That was about what I had mentioned in the article uh, about when I was in Japan. So, yeah, I see 105 and 130. So if I click find percentage, it's 23%. So the, the rate fluctuated, you know, within a 23 percentile range. That's huge. You know, saying $1 is now going to give you 105 yen versus now $1 gives you 130 yen. That's a big deal, and Japan was going through a major deflation when I was there. I mean, their their stock market hadn't really been doing anything. Um, the major problem in Japan is they had this aging population where they're not really they're not really replacing their their old people who are dying. You know, it, it, basically the birth rate is supposed to be two point one. So uh, the reason why it's two point one is you know if a person if a person dies or let's say a baby dies you have to be able to replace that so you have to have a rate of 2.1 and if you don't have the replacement rate then you have societal collapse and that's what's happening in Japan you have too many old people dying and not enough people being born um, that's happening in the United States actually there's very few countries that are really really re um, replacing their, their, their I guess you can say they're deceased okay what else we got on here um, I mentioned some things about the dinar gurus um, and I don't like to put anybody down. You guys should know that. I just I just want to seek the facts. So here's a Dinar Guru archive. So if you just go ahead and just open up any of these links, you'll see some of the postings from, let's see what we have here. Okay, that's August 2031. Okay, see, like, there's, there's Tony right there back in August of 2011 saying uh, the next 48 hours. So if you guys are, are wondering, okay, there's Oki. If you're, if you're wondering why I don't, listen to these calls this is why and you can see I don't do an update every day I do an update maybe once a week um, I do a video maybe once every two weeks you know I I just I'm just gonna tell you guys what I come across okay you know there's no reason to lie because anybody can find any of this information out all right so uh, I just kinda made some jokes about people saying the resets gonna happen before the new year and then they're gonna say it's gonna happen before the end of January now they're saying it's going to happen before April 15th, or it's going to happen before the elections, or it's going to happen after the elections. So, I mean, you guys have told me that you're tired of listening to the calls, and that's good, because you're just wasting your time. Because let's face it, if you want to know if the revaluation happens for Iraq, this is all you have to do. Because people say, when do you think the reset's going to happen? I said, what's going to happen when this changes? When you see this, 
this rate change, which has been the same for years, when you see that rate change, then you'll know that we're, uh, we're experiencing a global currency reset. If you look here at government debt or currency auctions, you'll, you'll see that they're still selling the dinar. Um, go ahead and look at this date right here. And remember, the dates are written in reverse, so that's not August 5th. That's May 8th, 2014. A lot of countries do that. They'll, they'll write it as um, the 8th day of May. You'll see this in Europe a lot. Um, especially in Britain, I know they do that, where they write the they write the the day before the month. So for people in the United States, it's a little confusing. It looks like this is um, prodated out to August, and it's not. But if you look, it talks about how much the rate was, how much they sold in U.S. dollars. You can see they sold fifty. It looks like it says fifty million two hundred and forty eight thousand dinar. So if if people were exchanging, why would the bank be selling the rate? Uh, why would they be selling the dinar at eleven sixty six? Um, another warning I forgot to mention to you guys is do not buy reserves. Um, or I, I think there was something on eBay about that. Let me see. It's I think it was dinar reserves, and I, and I saw something on eBay about that. Oh, okay, well, brought up sterling number one. Uh, first of all, I wouldn't buy that. But I don't want you guys getting scammed by buying dinar on eBay. But first of all, I don't think that there's going to be a high rate of 371. So... Um, really don't don't buy options I think this is another one it said dinar options yet yeah, look at this guy is selling he's selling certificates for 15 million dinar what a ripoff this doesn't make any sense whatsoever that's like saying if the if the dinar revalues in 90 days you're gonna get that much and if you click one of these you'll see how this guy's scamming people look at this This guy has been a seller since December 28th. So you click items for sale. This is such a scam. Look, look, all he's selling is dinar options. Do you really think that this guy has 15 million dinar? Do you know how much that costs? It's like 15 grand. You think he's really got this much? No. He knows that the reset's not going to happen for 90 days. Otherwise, this guy would, would be completely blown away. There's no way a private person like you are has this much money. No way. It's ridiculous. And if he did, why would he, why would he not sell the physical currency? So that's the other thing. If you guys are going to buy dinar or dong, buy the physical currency. Uh, I actually I didn't want people to get scammed, so I put links on here. So if you click, this is the homepage of globalreset.net. If you click buy currency, it'll just bring you to this. This is an Amazon.com page. You can see up in the in the bar right there. So if you wanted to buy it, you would just like you know click a couple links and it'll take you uh, to Amazon.com. So there you go. See powered by amazon.com so yeah so you would just you would just buy it from them see what I just clicked on I clicked on use or new available and look what it did it brought up right here return the product information and here we are so there you go proof that I was telling the truth that we're on amazon.com alright so there we go so if you want to buy the dinar there's links here if you want to buy any books about the reset you click you click books and it'll bring up the different books the ones I had mentioned in the PDF if you click Vietnamese dong you can buy dong there you go now guys don't go crazy don't go buying a whole bunch of dong and dinar and expect you're gonna get rich overnight you know this is a process and I don't really think we are gonna get super super rich I mean I understand that the currencies will revalue but I mentioned in the article about how when a currency goes down just like when I was in Japan when a currency goes down another one has to go up okay so so think about when I was in Japan when it was 123, let's say, yen to the dollar, you can buy a good amount of stuff. But when it drops down to where it is now, like 100 yen, you can't buy as much stuff. So I want you to think about it from this perspective. How much purchasing power will I have when the revaluation happens? So if you spend $1,000 and you, and you get some dinar, how much will that $1,000 be worth? If it can only buy you a thousand dollars worth of stuff now like let's say a thousand dollars gets you uh, a big television and some s surround sound system okay well if it revalues and let's say it does revalue at like around a dollar or so but what if the United States is in the middle of a hyperinflation and you can still only buy a big screen TV and a home stereo system with your money even if you have a million dollars if we're in a hyperinflation it doesn't really help you so I want you guys to, to just be prepared I mean this this is 
a speculation. This is a very speculative investment. So don't expect to get rich overnight. Um, and you're hearing it from me right now. I'm putting myself out there saying, I don't think the reset's going to happen until 2015. And the reason is because the, uh, oh, the affordable health care, also known as Obamacare, is going to kick in then, and a lot of people are not going to be able to survive. If, if you already have talked to people you work with, you'll probably notice that most of them have been moved to part-time status. Um, I know a lot of people where I work at are only getting 29 hours. And the reason is if you're getting 30 hours, you're considered um, full-time. So I, anybody who's working a job, I suggest you... Um, you, you, you kind of think about everything I've been saying about how when the affordable health care bill comes in, you're going to have to pay a lot of money, a lot of money. So just be prepared, you guys, okay? All right. Um, I think that was it. And I want to apologize if this video seemed to rush to you guys or if I was all over the place because I literally have to rush to work right now and I don't have time to do a full detailed video, but I at least wanted to show you guys the different pages. Um, remember to always check this breaking news site. Okay, always click my link here for breaking news when you start. I mean, <clears throat> I wanted people to make sure that this was the link they started on because this is where I'm posting all my updates. If you're a new visitor, you can click welcome and you can click um, global currency reset. What is the goal? global currency reset? Learn about that. There's a forum. If anybody wants to just talk and post whatever you want, go ahead and just do that in the forum. I need to probably move that link because most people don't even know there is a forum for this site. Okay, so going back to the breaking news page. Um, there's also a Google search uh, button, so if you want to type in like uh, Dinar Guru, it'll uh, it'll bring up a Google search on my website, so you can find all the information you want. So I hope that's helpful to you folks. Um, and then just scroll down, and you'll see different links. Um, and then I have Google News updates. Basically, this is directly uh, related to like Global Reset, Gold and Silver. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see that this updates every once in a while. So if I just click IMF goes to war in Ukraine, it's going to open up from the Google News page. So you just did a redirect. And there it is, IMF goes to war. Okay, guys, so just stay, stay updated. Make sure you know what's going on. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment in the video. Also, um, you can ask questions on the website. Okay, just click, click the video or click the news, whatever you want, and then scroll to the bottom of the page and uh, you'll be able to, uh, sorry, scroll to the bottom of the article link and you'll be able to comment. Remember, click this because I make sure that I can fit all my posts on the same page so they're cut off right here. So make sure you click that and when you do, it's going to open up the uh, actual article link and remember if you want to comment and talk to other people, give your feedback, just scroll to the very bottom and you'll see even though I just posted this article yesterday, people are already commenting and I'm responding. So I am a real person. I do respond. I'm not a robot. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks very much. And I hope you enjoy that. And don't forget to check out the CNN video that I posted because anybody who is watching mainstream media, you, after you see this, you, know, you, you probably won't. There's a lot of fake newscasts out there. Okay. I'll talk to you.